Welcome. So um, one thing I want to show you is uh, we can solve this proportion. And a lot of times, you know, people think, oh, we're using our cross product. And yeah, we can still use the cross product, put that as one, and cross product it. But the main, one of the major things is we see that five is in the denominator. We want to get the five off the denominator. And so I always think of just, you know, rather than using the cross product, which is not really going to be much because you're multiplying by one, but if you just multiply by five, right, that's going to get this off the denominator because five divided by five is just one. So therefore, I have 25 equals, that's multiplication, 25 equals 4 minus 3y, which would have been the exact same thing if you would apply the cross product. But you can see if you have you know, a numerator or even or denominator, one term in your denominator, or even two, if you can find the LCD, just multiply both sides by it. And it's the same thing as the cross product. So now let's go and get our variable by itself. So I'll uh, subtract 4 on both sides. And therefore, I have 21 equals negative 3y. Now to solve for y, I divide by th th negative 3, divide by negative 3 negative 7 equals y, or y equals negative 7. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve the cross product by multiplying by your denominator. Thanks. Or solve the proportion, I should say.